What is Popper's World 3 thesis? Well, this is a difficult one to try and explain in a very short amount of time, but basically I argue that it's a theory of information, a theory of computation, um, it's not, there's nothing spooky about it, it's a model, it's a schema, we can't sort of find it anywhere, it's, it's really just to help um, model our understanding of the uh, what he refers to as the uh, three three levels of um, interact ontological interaction you might want to say so basically world one is the physical world um, it's, it's a sort of a physical reductionist sort of model the idea that the physical universe physical things around us trees tables cups um, bodies of any sorts um, world two refers to the um, the, rel the, the world of or realm of psychological states that is uh, thinking minds the psychological uh, world human psychology things that Freud Adler Jung these kind of people dealt with um, so basically what goes on inside uh, individual heads and world three really just concerns information in itself, um, uh, uh, logic, mathematics, um, discursive rationality, which in which is related to to to, to logical mathematical thinking. So uh, um, the sort of uh, and and really any creation or product of creation of the human mind as well, including art. Uh, uh, art, literature, um, all these kind of things. Why Popper's World 3 thesis was needed was pretty much because we need to account for or have an explanation of the effects, the way information has physical, well, affects physical change and uh, moves objects in the physical world. How do we get the information from an informational realm, a realm of computation, to actual changes in the physical universe? Um, and, and Popper provides a, a, a speculative account or a model for that. Um, it's often been thought that you could perhaps just reduce World 3 to World 2 explanations um, psychological explanations uh, but I think now generally speaking I think Popper's winning this argument now that uh, increasingly we're seeing how important informational systems are uh, and how important information is in our not only in uh, uh, in our day-to-day -day lives via technology but also in our understanding of biology um, the role of in information uh, transferences in in biology and that all biological systems are in a sense informational systems so there's a sense that we need to provide at least an account or an explanation of of the way information interacts both with human minds and with the, the physical universe um, and short sure spec is speculative, short sure metaphysical. It might not be highly practical, but well, we don't know. We don't we don't know the the concrete benefits that would that we can derive of from world three theory down the track. Um, we don't. We I mean, it's what what kind of understandings ca can we gain from about the about the internet and about. Um, uh, social media platforms and all this sort of I mean to what extent even um, can we possibly argue that things like Facebook and, and, and uh, uh, social media are in a sense derived from or, or have something uh, owing in some sense to to Popper's work in the 70s on 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 world 3 that that kind of way he kind of almost anticipated uh, the important role of information in affecting uh, physical and social causality um, so uh, in in that sense uh, we, we we don't know the tangible um, the tangible uses of of such a such a highly sped, uh, speculative and metaphysical theory, but you know he he provides an account he provides an explanation of how information interacts with the physical world. Um, it's an interesting one, 
and it very well may be the best explanation we have at the moment 